new for Mastercam 2019 is a new drilling interface. So when clicking on the drill button in the 2D tool paths, we're launched right into the new drilling interface. Immediately on launch, we are directly in a selection mode. So if you're working with a solid model, you can just come in and start picking on arcs. Uh, if you pick arcs that maybe you grab the quadrant or an endpoint instead of the middle of the arc, as far as deselection goes, you can just click on that same point again to, uh, to get rid of it. Or from your points list, you can find the point in question and either use your right click and delete or your keyboard delete key. As we're adding points, you'll notice that the sorting of the operation does update live. So by default, uh, my drilling has come up in a uh, Y zig X minus pattern. So as I'm picking my points, those points will be added in that sort of uh, sorting configuration. If this is not what you want, you can uh, change your sorting option based on the preferred type. So if I go into a point to point, notice the new, uh, the points have all been updated to the new sorting method. And any points that are added will also be added into the, uh, the current sort. There may be times when you're partway into a sorting method and you're not liking what you see and you want to go back to your original selection. You can come up here and turn on the selected order for the sorting method. Notice it did not change anything on the screen though. Uh, what's going to happen now is basically all new points added to this current drill path will be added in the uh, selected order. If you want to go back to the exact order in which you selected, you'll have to use this reset to original order button and then this gets back to the exact order in which the holes were selected. Uh, you could then go back in and, and select a new sorting method if that's uh, preferred. So I'm just going to uh, delete all my points by right clicking and selecting delete all. So I'm starting with a, a fresh selection here. So in 2019 we've lacked, or sorry, we've lost the button called entities. A lot of uh, programmers uh, when launching into the drill selection mode would automatically go straight into an entity selection. Uh, the reason for an entity selection was so that there would not be a possibility of selecting an endpoint of an arc or even a midpoint. Uh, quadrants could be an issue in the past, but by default, quadrants should be turned off on your auto cursor settings. If they're not, I would definitely recommend turning those off. Um, if there's a specific reason why you use quadrants for selection, then maybe you'd want to just turn them on for when you're doing that uh, particular function that requires that. Uh, so th there's still a chance that you could get, like I said, an endpoint or a midpoint of an arc. If that's problematic for you, th the workaround for that is to go into your auto cursor settings. From the pull down, we're going to go to arc center. And with that, um, we want to stay in this arc center selection mode, so we'll use the lock function here. So now, no matter where I put my cursor on that circle, I'm only, only going to get an arc, uh, the arc center of that arc. So that could be a solution for those wanting that entity functionality selection in their drill path uh, point selection. Uh, to get out of this selection mode, you'll need to hit the escape key twice, so once and twice brings you back to your whole definition uh, selection manager and you can continue on with sorting or point selection in different modes if required. Uh, a few more things to cover as far as sorting goes. If you click on a point, the drag and drop uh, no longer works. So you have to, if you want to manually move a point around, you're going to have to use the move up or move down buttons if you want to do some manual sorting. The mask on arc function is still here, however it's not working on solids still. It looks like uh, Mastercam is going to be going to uh, some different solid functionality as far as selection of uh, similar holes uh, maybe in the future, maybe next year's release will have that in. Uh, I think it'll be something similar to what is done with the, the multi-axis drill functionality where you can select a face and Mastercam will go and grab um, similar sized faces and add them into uh, 
your drill points. But again, that's probably in the next year or two, but uh, not in this release, so we won't worry about that for now. So to use Mask on Arc, we need to be in a wireframe setting. And to do that, let me just clear all my arcs out of here first. And I'll turn on my wireframe so we can go through some masking on arcs. Okay, so now I've got the correct wireframe on screen here. We'll go back into the uh, drill point selection and use the mask on arc function. And as before, select arc to match. That's the one there. And then window select to select all arcs. And again, our point sorting is done live. If you want to go back to different sorting methods, you can uh, pick from here. And what we should be pointing out here is, is given the sorting method group that you're in, so if you're in a 2D sort, so I'm in a point to point, I have options available to me in the 2D sort options here. I have a, uh, an option to select my starting point. If I pick a rotary sort, notice I have options here for defining the center of uh, the rotation sort point. You can also define a starting angle for that. So let's say 180. Notice the start point changed. And similarly, if you pick a sorting option from cross sort, then you'll be given uh, clickable uh, options for the cross sorting method. So depending on the sort option you choose from the pull down will determine which option you're able to pick from uh, for further definition of the sorting. So this gets us back to a point to point sort here. I'll start at this location and hit OK. I just want to go through just a quick toolpath here to apply this. Okay, so I've got a spot drilling operation. Well, it's more than a spot drilling operation, but I've got a drilling operation, and I'm going to go and launch into the drilling again. And I'm going to assume that the last operation was a spot drill, and maybe this one would be an actual drilling operation on those same holes. So what I can do here now, since I want to work with the exact same holes, is this button here will bring in the points used in the previous operation. And... And this is not a good part for an example, but if I had a really big plate and I was drilling from the, the left side way over to the right side, and if I had maybe a 40 inch long plate, then I would want, not want to start my toolpath one here and end over at X plus 40, and then wrap it back to that same starting point and cut all the way across again. It would be easiest or most efficient if I drilled across uh, for one toolpath in one direction and simply reversed for the other direction. So for that, we have this button here called Reverse. So if I click on Reverse, it will reverse the order of the current uh, selected points. I'll hit OK. Stick with the same toolpath, rebuild it. And you can see this drill is going to go around once in the clockwise direction. And then toolpath number two will start and go back around in the reverse order. So very easy to do your, your spot drilling drilling tapping uh, type uh, combos and uh, keep your toolpaths efficient by drilling them in one direction with one toolpath and reversing it for the next direction. Okay, so I did want to go a little bit further on the wireframe selection. So I'm going to open up this basically a, a grid here of points. Okay, so basically what I've got here is I've got some green holes. And these green holes are quarter inch diameter. And I've got some blue holes, and these blue holes are 248 in diameter. Okay, so with the wireframe, again, I'm going to be using the mask on arc function here. So drill, mask on arc. I'm going to click on the green, and then window select everything. And like you would expect, uh, we're only getting the green arcs here. We're not getting the blue ones as well. Uh, so what if we wanted to include those blue ones into our mask on arc selection? Um, say there was a thousand holes here and we wanted to spot drill these quarter inch and these 248s together because they're close enough in size that we can spot drill them the same depth. Um, so I could add a second portion to this, this toolpath by now doing a second mask on arc 
for this, Windows selecting. But now I've got two different tool paths. You know, one does the greens, and then we start over and do all the blues. Maybe not as efficient as it could be. So there is a tolerance in the drilling selection, this tolerance here. So the same as it functioned before in your mask on arc, if I increase this now to, let's say, 5 thou, uh, do my mask on arc, the green, window select everything, I get all my points this time. Uh, you need to keep in mind this tolerance is also in effect for the sorting operations. So even though you might want to select your holes and do your sorting with different tolerances, they both are going to be using the same tolerance value here. So a reason why you might want to use tolerance for your sorting, say we're set to a sorting method like this, so basically an X, Y kind of zigzag down the part. You're seeing that it's going to do the blue line and then readjust and do the green line and then step down to the next grouping and, and do two more lines in there. So if I increased this, I forget the exact distance between the centers of these holes, I believe it's 70 thou. So if I increase this tolerance now to 0.1 and do a reselection of my points, you'll see now it's doing all of the holes because it's the position of the arcs is within the specified tolerance. Um, this is not, again, it's not a great example because just simply doing a point-to-point -point sort on this part would result in almost exactly the same thing. Um, but just wanted to point out the fact that this tolerance does apply to the mask on arc and it does apply to the sorting as well. One last thing I wanted to point out with the drilling selection here is uh, the change at point functionality does uh, operate a little bit differently now. So again, I'm going to group these into just uh, drilling the, dr the green holes and then drilling the blue holes first. So I'll do a, um, I'll add some points in here and we can do this a little bit differently as well just to show a different method of, of point selection. I'm going to go to my quick masks and select all of my green holes. Okay, so I've got all my green holes in there. And then uh, let's add my blue holes. Okay, so what's not good right now is my, my drilling order is going blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. If I'm going to do this change at point operation, I want to do all my greens and then all my blues. So if I click on this, reset to original order, we should see if I start up here at number one, I am getting all my greens. And then it switches over and does uh, all my blues. See, the order in which they're done is is not the point of this part of the, the, the video here, but I just want to show the change at point. So we could more efficiently do some selection here and get better point to point movement, but I just want to show the functionality of the change at point. Uh, so I'm just gonna hit okay on this for now. In this operation, let's just do uh, a depth of 100 thou deep. Okay, we'll change some stuff here so it doesn't look too crazy. Okay, so spot drilling everything 100 thou deep. Now what I want to do here, just for uh, example, uh, demonstration purposes, is drill all my blue holes 200 thou deep. So what we would do before is we would come in and find the point in which we want to change the toolpath at. So I'll cursor down here and find my last green hole, which is there. And then my first blue hole is number 37. So in the past, what we've done is we've right clicked and done change parameters at point. Uh, Again, this still works the same way. We can still right click and select choose uh, our change at point. We also have a, a menu button here, which is looks like the pencil, change parameters at point. And I want to update my depth to minus a 0 0.2. Notice there's no button here to append these to the next, uh, the next holes. I can only basically say that I want to change at this point to a new value. So if we go through the process of looking at this now, you can see I've got just the one hole that drills deeper. So if you wanted to drill all of your blue holes deeper, we have to go through one more step to apply this to all the holes. So again, let's find our hole number 37. And that's why I selected my holes as doing all the greens and all the blues first. 
is now to select all my blues, I can use the Windows function of holding my Shift key, finding my last blue hole, and clicking on it. So I've now selected all of my blue holes. I can do the change parameter at point, depth, minus 0.2, rebuild the toolpath, and notice now we are getting all of the blue holes are getting drilled down at negative 0.2, all the greens are still at negative 0.1. So the change at point is working a little bit differently. There is some different selection methods being used as far as not having the entity selection mode anymore. However, if you use your auto cursor functionality there, um, go into the arc center and lock it in, it will behave, behave exactly the same way. Uh, with the added benefit is you won't mistakenly pick on a line or a spline. So this does work a little bit better in 2019. And the last takeaway is just the, the mask on arc working for wireframe only still and the auto application of the sorting order based on your live selection of points.